Here we need to calculate the holding period return for a zero coupon bond. And so the idea here is an investor is going to purchase the bond at one point in time. And instead of holding it until maturity, he's going to sell it. Uh, so the ultimate timeline that we're after is the following. Since the investor buys the bond, holds it for two years, and then sells it, and we're thinking about things in a semi-annual framework. We've really got four periods in the investor's timeline. So at time zero, the investor is going to purchase the bond for some number P0. All right, so first step, let's calculate P0. What does the investor initially pay for the bond? When the bond is initially purchased, it has... 18 years remaining to maturity. And so thinking about a semi-annual timeline, there's 36 ticks on it. Zero coupon bond, so the only payment is the $1,000 par repayment at maturity. And so P0 is the present value of that $1,000 at time zero. So P0 equals 1,000 discounted 36 periods at a discount rate of what? Initial yield to maturity is 7%, so the initial discount rate is 3.5, so it's a semi-annual discount rate. So here in the denominator we have 1.035 raised to the 36th power, or 36. The 1,000 divided by 1.0. 035 raised to the 36th power. So the initial price is 289.8327. Next step is to calculate P4. So what's going on four periods down the road? This is when the investor sells the bond. And so let's think about what's remaining. So the only payment, again, that's remaining is the $1,000 par repayment at maturity. And so now there are 32 periods remaining. And so to calculate P4, we just need to come back 32 periods. And so for that calculation, we have P4 equals 1,000 divided by 1 plus a new yield to maturity. And so the yield to maturity at the time the bond is sold is 8%. And so we're going to have 1.04 in the denominator. And that's going to be raised to the 32nd power. So again, I'm going to just calculate that directly in my financial calculator. So 1,000 divided by 1.04 raised to the 32nd power. Okay, almost done now. Um, here's my initial price. Here's my sales price. And so we just need to find a discount rate that connects those two to one another. So this number is gonna be the PV, this is gonna be the FV, and they're four periods apart. Um, so in a, in, a, in a financial calculator, we could take this number and enter it as a negative number this number is a positive number, enter that number as N, and payment, of course, is zero because there are no payments, and then solve for I, and that's gonna give me a semi-annual discount rate. 289.8327 with a negative sign is PV. 285.8327. O five seven nine with a positive sign is FV. Zero is payment. Four is N and compute I. So minus point four one four four percent. That is a semi-annual realized return. It's a semi-annual holding period return. So if I want to annualize that, I'm just going to double uh, the number and report uh, minus 0.82%.